Hello, hello, my lovely collective. I hope y'all are doing well. I sat down to start this read and it was 3.33 and I was like, I love it. I'm taking it as an omen. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well today. <clears throat> my voice has been like, it's like a borderlining Mickey Mousing some today. So we'll see. Um, we've got the shapeshifter and the mother, <clears throat> the healer and the gem. I drank a bunch of water before. I was like, I will be okay. <laughs> the mother is the idea of an identity, right? Like if you hold on to an identity and you're like, this is who I am. And you know, like this is everything that, you know, like represent, represents me. Um, you know, then like <clears throat> you miss out on the entirety of who you are. And I don't care what type of identity that is, whether you're a mother or <clears throat> an environmentalist or a, like a human rights practitioner or a massage therapist, you know what I mean? Like it, like whatever it is, like if that's your only identity, then you're, then you, then you lost a whole lot of yourself. You know what I mean? And I just feel like this idea of like, if I only identify as, um, you know, whether it's like a religious organization and you're like, well, I'm religious. And so like people are like, well, cool, then you stay over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I'm this and da, 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 da. you know what I mean? I just feel like, like all of us are so much more than any of the things that we do. Um, any of the educations that we've received. It's funny because, um, I'm very blessed and I have, I have an opportunity to, to engage with people who are involved in the academic world, even still. Um, and, and love having conversations with them, but there is, there is an acknowledgement, um, you know, that like academia is very much, you know, like outside of the world. Um, you know, like it's not aware of what's going on. And so it can pontificate and it can, you know, calculate and it can, you know, like give a historical basis for it, but it still doesn't have the language of like the people of the, of like that time. Um, you know, and, and oftentimes the language of the people, if you will, is discarded as ignorant or, um, you know, lacking in some way. And I feel like there is an idea here of holding on to something that makes you feel like you are lacking in some way. Um, and again, I don't think that you are. Sorry, I'm just listening. <laughs> but I think that you are, you know, like you're showing up differently for yourself. Um, showing up as, as, the version of you that I feel like you, like, you know, you have all of this value, <laughs> you know, what I mean? and it's like, if I know that I have all of this value and I'm holding on to like one little thing and I'm like, well, this is the thing, you know what I mean? And it's like, that's not the thing. All of the, all of you, all of you is the thing, you know what I mean? And I just kind of feel like there's an idea of like wanting to embody all of you, because if I show up in a conversation with somebody and I only show up in that conversation as one version of myself, all of the other versions of myself are probably going to have a whole lot to say about that. <laughs> I can hear the comments, but you know what I mean? Everybody has different aspects of our personalities. I think that's like a cool thing about astrology is because your chart, like, you know, like, the basics are like, oh, your sun sign. And, and it's like, no, I, I know. Like give your rising sign, your sun, your moon, your, you know, your Mercury, your Mars, your Venus. Like there's something different to associate with all the different versions of yourself. Um, everyone embodies multiple versions of themselves. That's not just a me thing. <laughs> but I think that there is a sense of compartmentalization. Okay. And, and no longer compartmentalizing yourself. And I know that that a lot of, especially parents, you know, like I think that we do this a lot more um, than maybe other people, but um, you know, anybody who's, who identifies themselves through anything, if it's somebody who goes to a church or somebody who, you know, like, well, I identify as this. And so, you know, therefore that's the community that I associate myself with. And that's da, 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 da. And, and they're, they're singular. They're not very well-rounded people. And I just feel like you feel like you're not very well-rounded and it's because you're not embodying all of the many versions of you. You know what I mean? Like 
I'm going to school for massage therapy, but I spent a long time in advertising and marketing and sales. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I've worked with thousands of small businesses and I have worked as a writing consultant and I have raised two beautiful boys and I know how to go fishing and I know how to shoot a gun and I know, you know what I mean? And like, and so when you take all of those different elements of me, it's a very different version of me that I present to people, right? And I feel like I'm sharing this because I just feel like you're starting to embrace the versions of yourself and, and presenting yourself wholly um, because <clears throat> these fractured ideas have got to go and these disconnected bonds, you know, like when we clean, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like disconnected bonds, um, pull you in, into those identities, um, and they hold you captive there so that you start to miss out on the entirety of all of you and the beauty of all of you, because people, other people want to section you off, you know, I mean, like, I'm sure it's a combination of all of it because, you know, <laughs> Anybody who, who interacts with the, with people in the world know, you know, like people will categorize you very easily according to what you're doing. I was having a conversation with a friend the other day and I was like, you know, there was a summer that I was bartending and I just remember all of these people like speaking down to me and I was like, they don't know that I'm like what I've done or like what I'm currently doing or like, you know what I mean? And it's just kind of like, it's really demoralizing to, to be so isolated in an identity. Um, and I feel like you, like, again, I just feel like the sense of like demoralization, this like sense of devaluing because of, of you, you or another person or a combination of the two or a group of people or whatever allowed for this like singular identity that completely misconstrued your value. And you're like, well, one, fuck those people. Two, how do I make sure I don't do that anymore? Right? I have to bring healing to myself. I have to be comfortable with all the versions of myself because sometimes according to society, all the versions of me are in contradiction with one another. And I'm not allowed to be all of those things in one person. You know what I mean? And so I have to like hide parts of myself so that I can just be the version of myself that I'm allowed to be around those people. Um, again, I just feel like not doing that anymore. Like that's so ill. I don't want to do it. I don't want to have to pretend. I don't want to have to save face or act a certain type of way or you know what I mean? Like any of that. Um, I want to be able to embody the entirety of me as a person. Um, <clears throat> okay. Collective. Loving it. <laughs> do the damn thing. Embody all of you. All of you is beautiful. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you have, one week. okay. Well, for people who are just now watching me, I don't know why somebody was just was like one week clean, not of, of, of substance. I just, it's not an addiction that I struggle with. <laughs> it's just a pleasure that I enjoy on, enjoy on occasion, but, um, I don't know why I felt the need to clarify that. Um, so we have justice, the tower, judgment. Um, you know, I just feel like there is an end that's coming, you know, that that is just like, like, listen, if you can only see me as one version of myself because that's what's convenient for you, um, you know, then you can take that version and shove it up your ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like I just want to like wipe the sarcasm off of someone's face. <laughs> you know, um, because there's a decision that's being made that is just, it's like, I'm so much more aware of myself and, and I don't feel like it's that you haven't been aware of yourself. Honestly, I feel like it's that you've been fractured out and clinging to, to identities because you felt like that was the only way you were going to be accepted. That was the only way you were going to be able to do anything. But then you always felt limited and in, in those identities, because that identity is not you, you know, that's just a, like something that you enjoy as a person. It's something that you engage with as a person. It's something that you believe as a person. That's not who you are in your entirety. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I like, I really am anti-identity. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you are or who you identify as. If you're a shitty human being, you're a shitty human being. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, 
And I feel like, again, just this like being stuck in these identities that are like, but that's like, if you just stuck me there, that's, that sucks. And that's, I don't, that's not who I am. It's not who I want to be. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Other than like, that's just not going to work for me. Um, and, and the, the page of wands, a message. I don't know if you are taking this message to somebody or if you're receiving a message from somebody, but it does feel like this exchange of, listen, you have me trapped in this tiny ass little box that is just like, that's like such a, a small version of me. And, and I get why you feel comfortable passing judgment in that manner, but like, there's just like, there's so much more happening. There's so much more going on. Um, you know, like, and, and I, I like, I just don't have time for your energy anymore. Like, please leave. <laughs> I am not going to your house. You do not come to mine. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. The fairy stallion. The High Priestess, Six of Wands, <sighs> oh damn, okay, so we got some majors, major mages, like almost all majors, with the exception of the Three of Swords, which is just this idea of like holding on to something even though it hurts, and I feel like there's a sense of like, I held on to this identity even though it was hurting my soul. You know what I mean? Because I felt like somehow that was going to be a good thing. But like in real life, it wasn't a good thing. What was a good thing was when I started engaging with all the pieces of me and all the parts of me. Because that's when I could tap into my magic. So these fractured identities just like really have to go. Um, you know, again, just this like I've got... I've got so much to harvest. I've got so much that I've called into me. I've got so much understanding of all of this now that I'd like, I'd like I'm, I'm off. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> okay. Collective. Two of Wands and Four of Cups. Yeah, because this fractured identity, this tiny little idea, this like, this, I don't know, this like feeling of if I'm not, if I don't solely identify myself as something that somehow I'm lacking, um, you know, and I just feel like, well, that is a lack mentality that you exist in, person. <laughs> I simply cannot deal with it any longer, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm off. I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm showing up entirely as myself, um, for my life. And I just don't have the time, space, or energy to have people who, around, whether they are physically in my life or energetically just lurking, who want to tell me that I have to be a certain way, that I should be doing a certain thing or, or constantly criticizing everything that I do, um, you know, or, or mocking everything that I do. Um, you know, it's just like, it's, it's exhausting. I don't want to deal with it. Um, I like, and I will, what? I don't know. <laughs> the mystic. Well, I mean, this is just like a psychic inner knowing and listen, nobody knows us like we know ourselves and we know when there's, when we feel confined, we know when there's more to us than we're allowed to, you know, like present that like we have to hide something about ourselves because these people know, you know what I mean? Or if I don't, if I say this, they're going to be offended by what I just said. And you're like, Jesus, fuck, you know, like says the, the person who claims to never be offended, you know what I mean? Like who takes pride in offending people? Yeah. Until you're the one who's offended, you know what I mean? And it's just kind of like, I just feel like I like those people are not welcome. That energy's not welcome. Um, you know, and for that reason, I have to go in another direction because the only way I can show up as the entirety of me, um, is to not deal with people who want to box me. Um, you know, like I just feel like breaking out of the packaging. <laughs> Your packaging sucks. 
Uh, the end. I don't know, y'all. If this does resonate with you, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.